So, welcome again in my course power electronics application in power system. This is the last module uh, which I am going to start today. So, in this module we will learn uh, a specific type of power electronic based compensator uh, which is used in uh, power systems. And this compensator is a kind of converter based compensator. Okay. So, I already discussed uh, this uh, different types of converter based compensator. So, this specific type of converter based compensator is a uh, series compensator and it is named as a static synchronous series compensator. Okay. So, let us start. So, static synchronous series compensator. Okay. So, in its acronym is SSSC, triple SC. Okay. So, from this nomenclature you can see that it is a kind of series compensator. So, it is a kind of kind of series compensator. Right. And already I discussed that it is a type of converter based compensator. Converter based compensator. Okay. So, that is what the basic features of this uh, SSSC. Now, let me draw the basic schematic diagram of SSSC and let me discuss the basic uh, modeling uh, detail of the SSSC. Okay. So, schematic of SSSC it is something like this. Suppose, we have a transmission line and somewhere we have this SSSC either in the midpoint or maybe near to the sending end or receiving end at any part. So, the basic advantage of SSSC or basic advantage of this uh, series compensator as a whole is that it can be placed anywhere in the line. Okay. Then its uh, functionality will also remain same. Now, this SSSC basic schematic diagram is here. There is a coupling transformer like this and then there is a converter waste. SSSC connected to it and there is a DC link which is represented by this DC capacitor. Okay. So, apart from that there is to have a circuit breaker like this. So, this is circuit breaker. So, this uh, goal of this circuit breaker is to uh, close uh, this this uh, it operation when there is an ab any abnormality and thereby it will save the SSSC from the uh, grid abnormal abnormality. Okay. So, this is what the coupling transformer and this is what DC link of the converter waste uh, this SSSC unit. Okay. And this 
basic electrical equivalent circuit model of SSSC is something like that. It, it injects a series voltage to a transmission line or wherever it is placed and that series voltage is controllable. So, therefore, this when we convert it to basic electrical equivalent circuit model electrical equivalent circuit model it is representing a variable series voltage source to the line ok variable series voltage source to the line. So, this is transmission line as you can see. So, this is what the representation of SSSC. This is what the representation of SSSC. It, uh, it just injects a controllable series voltage. So, you have seen that uh, in case of STATCOM which is also a converter based power electronic compensator but it is a kind of hunt compensator. It is basically uh, modeled as a controllable current source connected in uh, shunt wherever it is to be placed. So, therefore, uh, SSSC is uh, represented by a controllable voltage source and there is a difference between TCSC and SSSC as well. Uh, in TCSC what we have seen is it is a representation of controllable impedance or controllable reactance okay, connected in series to the line. Whereas, here in SSSC it is, it is represented by a controllable uh, series voltage source as I have shown you. Okay. Now, we will do the mathematical modeling of this SSSC while doing so let us assume that the voltage at this sending end bus. So, this is suppose sending end bus. and this is supports receiving end bus ok and sending end voltage is V at an angle delta receiving end voltage is V at an angle 0 and this line reactance is represented by J x ok. So, while uh, deriving the mathematical model for this uh, SSSC we will take certain assumptions. What are the assumptions? Our assumptions are number 1 uh, we have a 3 page symmetrical lossless transmission line so this transmission line model we are consistently uh, taking this uh, this assumption and uh, this this line model let us represent it as a short line model okay then our second assumption is we uh, this SSSC is three page lossless unit. Okay, this is what our second assumption is. So we have uh, SSSC, which is three page lossless unit, and number three is that SSSC can only exchange reactive power ok. SSSC can only exchange reactive power. This is true if we have a DC link capacitor at the DC link side of the converter as you know. So, unless we have a active power source connected to the DC side of the converter, we cannot uh, exchange uh, active power 
using this particular power electronic converter. So, this is I assume that you are aware on this, you, you, this is something uh, known to us, known to you. Okay. So, therefore, since we do not have any uh, active power source connected to the DC link, so automatically SSSC can only exchange reactive power. So, therefore, it, it means that no real power exchange or active power exchange. Okay. Now, suppose at any instant of time uh, this for this polarity of this uh, source current is flowing from sending end to receiving end. Okay. So, where this I is the line current V at an angle delta is sending end voltage. and V at an angle 0 is receiving end voltage. All right. Now, if you have this assumption true, this uh, SSSC is uh, only exchanging reactive power to the system and it is lossless, then we can say that the real part of V s and I conjugate would be equal to 0. Okay. So, this happens due to there is no real power or active power exchange. Okay. Now, with this, uh, let us draw the phasor diagram of this particular circuit. And uh, to draw the phasor diagram, as you know, that we need to develop the algebraic equation. This is what the first and foremost condition to develop the phasor diagram. Now, what would be the algebraic equation that uh, that we will be going to develop here? So, if you apply KVL uh, from the sending end to receiving end side uh, in this particular loop then what we will get? We will get this V at an angle delta. So, applying KVL what we will get? V at an angle delta minus this V s okay, minus this I j x is equal to this V at an angle 0. Okay. All right. So, this V at an angle delta minus V at an angle 0 is nothing but V s plus J i x. Okay. So, that is what the algebraic equation that we developed. Okay. That is what the algebraic equation that we developed. Now, based upon this algebraic equation, let us draw the phasor diagram. So, the phasor diagram diagram for SSSC model would be something like this. Let us consider this V at an angle 0 is our reference phasor that is receiving end voltage. This is our reference phasor. Okay. Then this would be this the phasor corresponds to V at an angle delta and then this angle would be delta. Okay. So, this is sending end voltage, this is receive, receiving end voltage and uh, as you can see from here, the difference of the sending end voltage and receiving end voltage is nothing but the voltage drop due to this line reactance that is I x and this voltage injected by the 
SSSC. So, this voltage or this phasor, if you draw this phasor, then this will represent, this magnitude will represent uh, Vs plus Ix. This magnitude will represent Vx plus Ix. Okay. And uh, this, this uh, since this uh, uh, Vs and I, they will, they are having a quadrature relationship because we have seen that uh, this Vs and I real part is 0. So, wh what uh, does it mean? They are having a quadrature relationship. So, therefore, this uh, phasor I would be somewhere in quadrature with the this drop. So, this would be the phasor I. Okay. All right. And since this is the phasor I, so and it would be quadrature with this. So, this would be uh, 90 degree, this would be 90 degree or pi by 2 and it will uh, create a perpendicular bisector. So, therefore, this angle will be equal to delta by 2 and this angle will also be equal to delta by 2. Right? So, if it is so, then from this geometrical analysis from the geometry what we will get is I x I x. Uh, now, one thing uh, that you can see over here is uh, this I x plus V s would be the phasor difference of the sending end voltage and the receiving end voltage, but this V s can be positive in polarity or negative in polarity. So, therefore, I am just writing it I x plus minus V s because uh, as we can see from this phasor, we are considering this, this is positive with respect to this. However, it can be opposite all as well. So, V s can be positive and this side negative as well. If it is so, then V s polarity is reversed or if uh, someone uh, in some polarity if you consider positive, the opposite polarity has to be considered negative. right? So, if it is so, uh, I am just considering that is plus minus V x. So, I x plus minus V x plus minus V s is equal to so, you can see from this geometry, if you consider this is G O, this is point O, this is point A, this is point B, this is point C, then you can see from the geometry, this A B is equal to B C is equal to V sin delta by 2, right. A B is equal to B C is equal to sin delta by 2. So, therefore, this drop would be equal to 2 V sin delta by 2. So, therefore, this I x would be equal to 2 V sin delta by 2 minus plus this V s. So, therefore, I will be equal to 2 V sin delta by 2 divided by x minus plus V s divided by x. Okay. So, this is what the magnitude of I which we uh, derive from geometry. We need not to have any other uh, means phasor analysis uh, for that. So, therefore, this is the equation that we develop for this particular current. Okay. Now, what is I? I is the line current. So, line current is linearly changing with the uh, injection of the uh, voltage by SSSC. From this, we can conclude that 
line current magnitude is linearly varying with the injected voltage by sssc so you can see uh, if uh, if we have this positive sign or we have a positive injection of the voltage the line current magnitude would be higher than the uh, uncompensated line however if vs is negative then the line current magnitude would be lower than the uh, uh, this this uncompensated line so also you can put second remark that this line current this line current refers to the current flowing through the transmission line you have to understand okay so this line current is increasing or decreasing with the with the, uh, this voltage injection of or voltage injection by SSSC, SSSC as compared to, to the uncompensated line. This is the second remark we can write. Now, from this we can also find out the active power flow uh, that is going to be changed uh, uh, due to this SSSC placement. So, the active power flowing through the line So, active power flowing through the line due to voltage injection by SSSC is. So, what would be the power? So, let us call it also compensated power because it is not the same power that will flow. <coughs> in case of uncompensated line rather it is a power which would be different to the power of the uncompensated line. Now, what would be that expression of power? You have this current phasor, you have this voltage phasor. So, therefore, voltage magnitude multiplied by cosine of the angular difference of voltage and current will give you the power. So, from this we can find out this power is equal to V i cos delta by 2. Okay. So, where V is the voltage magnitude uh, at any end of the line, I is the current uh, line current that is the current flowing through the line and cosine of angular difference of this voltage and current is delta by 2. So, that is what this is. Now, we have the expression of I, we will directly put over here. So, let us put this V cos delta by 2 multiplied by this i, i is equal to 2 v sin delta by 2 divided by x minus plus or plus minus v s divided by x. Okay. So, this can be written as uh, you can see 2 v square divided by x. Now, we have this cos delta by 2 multiplied by sin delta by 2 
then minus plus this v v s divided by x cos delta by 2. Okay. Now, from this uh, we can also write we can also write uh, so 2 cos delta by 2 multiplied by sin delta by 2 is uh, sin delta. So, we can write v square divided by x sin delta minus plus v v s divided by x cos delta by 2. So, this is what the expression of p comp. Okay. So, this is what the expressions for p comp. Now, if you want to if we need to plot this uh, p comp with respect to this uh, this uh, delta. So, what would be the plot? So, suppose this is p comp and delta. So, if V s is equal to 0, the plot would be like a like a sin sinusoid curve as we know. So, this corresponds to this corresponds to V s is equal to 0. What does it mean? It is the characteristics of uncompensated line uncompensated line. Okay. As we know uh, this is this is uh, corresponds to delta is equal to 0, this is corresponds to delta is equal to pi and the maximum power corresponds to delta is equal to pi by 2. So, this is the characteristic corresponds to V s is equal to 0. Okay. Now, if you look at this expression, you can see that this uh, depending upon the polarity of V s, uh, we may have some power even if delta is equal to 0. That means, delta is operated delta is equal to 0 means that the uh, line is operated at no load condition. right? So, therefore, so we have you know two plots, one is corresponding to this positive value of this power corresponds to this V s positive, another is correspond to V s negative. So, so therefore, what we can see, what we can show over here is that, so at delta is equal to 0, there would be some amount of power that will flow through the wind. So, then let us consider that uh, V s uh, positive and so this power would be equal to 0 when uh, delta is equal to pi because at delta is equal to pi. So, this portion would be 0 and cos pi by 2 uh, that is cos 90 degree that would be also 0. So, therefore, this characteristic should be something like this. Okay. Corresponds to V s positive. However, there would be also possible to have a characteristics like this when you have V s negative. Okay. So, this is uh, so, so the character so therefore, this uh, depending upon the value of this V s and its polarity there is a possible of shifting this characteristics from here to here. Okay. So, and this is what would be this power versus delta characteristics. Okay. This is a very important uh, aspect of uh, there. So, there are some important remark uh, you can see over here is that this power uh, when it is uh, delta is equal to 0 or delta is uh, close to 0, then it is possible to have a 
negative power. Now, what do you mean by negative power? Negative power means power is flowing from flowing in opposite direction. So, if actual power is flowing from uh, this sending end to receiving end, so negative power implies to the power flow from uh, receiving end to the sending end. So, therefore, uh, this power reversal is possible with this SSSC. So, if we write the remark, remarks from P comp delta characteristics, then I should tell that the first remark should be power reversal is possible through transmission line transmission line with SSSC. So, this power reversal is uh, going to be an important aspect in particular dynamic conditions. So, this power reversal is an important property of SSSC specially during dynamic condition. Okay. So, what else we can say uh, from this uh, P delta curve? So, you can see so what else we can say from this P delta curve? you can see that this there is a power reversal possible depending upon the type of the uh, this uh, voltage the SSSC will inject to the line. And as I said that this power reversal is crucial uh, especially uh, during this dynamic conditions when the system uh, oversees the disturbances and uh, when uh, uh, for stability point of view we need to uh, change the direction of the flow of the power uh, when we need to modulate the flow of the power uh, during dynamic conditions. So, during these times this this reversal of the power is very important. Okay. So, apart from that what could be this remark from this that we can also write that the change in power flow change in power flow either this uh, positive uh, change or that means increase in power flow or decrease in power flow that is increase or decrease in power flow is possible with SSSC. Okay. So, as you can see that uh, the placement of SSSC can increase the steady state power transfer capacity or can also reduce the steady state power transfer capacity. Uh, so, whenever it is uh, the, the similar exercise would be required, it is possible to do so. Now, let us see this active power. Uh, we have seen the active power and let us see the reactive power. Let us see the reactive power. Of both ends of the line. Due to. SSSC. Placement. Okay. So, let us see the uh, reactive power of both ends of the line. 
due to the SSS. So, what would be the reactive power expression? Already we derived the active power expressions from the phasor diagram from geometry. Similarly, we can find out this reactive power uh, of the both end and as you know that uh, since we assume that the line is symmetrical, line is symmetrical. So, at the both end of the line this uh, reactive power flow would be same and this uh, would be equal to Q is equal to V i sin delta by 2. Similar to this uh, V i cos delta by 2, we derive this expressions uh, from this. Now, as we have this expressions for i already there, so we can write V sin delta by 2 multiplied by the expression of the i. So, i magnitude we already derived, so that is 2 V by x sin delta by 2. 2 V by x sin delta by 2 plus minus or minus plus whatever is V s divided by x. So, this gives you that. So, you can see that uh, this is equal to 2 V square. that is sin square del by 2 divided by x minus plus v v s divided by x sin delta by 2. Okay. Now, that we know that 2 sin square delta by 2 can be converted to 1 minus cos delta. So, we can write it as v square divided by x 1 minus cos delta that is what the expressions of reactive power of the both ends of the line minus plus or plus minus v v x divided by x sin delta. Okay. So, that is what the expressions for uh, reactive power at the both end. Okay. All right. Now, if we want to plot this reactive power with respect to delta, how would be the plot? So, let us plot this Q with respect to delta. Okay. So, as you know that uh, this when uh, V s is equal to 0, this characteristics would be similar to this and that is the uh, that corresponds to the Q delta characteristics for uncompensated line and that characteristics would be something like this. Okay. So, this is something corresponds to V s uh, is equal to 0. Okay. Now, depending upon this V s whether it is a positive or negative, so this characteristics is going to be changed. So, because as you can see uh, that even if uh, uh, V s is uh, non zero, you can see at delta is equal to zero, this uh, this would be eventually equal to zero. So, therefore, this characteristics would be either uplifted or downlifted depending upon some value of V s. Suppose, if we consider that this is corresponds to V s is equal to positive, then uh, this characteristics would be this characteristics would be something like this corresponds to V s is equal to negative. Okay. So, one thing that we can conclude from that, that presence of this SSSC is eventually uh, changing the reactive power uh, uh, that are the both ends. So, from this we can say that the presence of SSSC changes the reactive power at the both ends of the transmission line. ok. 
okay. So, which is obvious because SSSC itself is providing uh, some sort of reactive power or it is injecting or sub, uh, subtracting some amount of reactive power. So, when it is injecting reactive power, so this uh, characteristics is uplifted. When it is uh, uh, absorbing certain amount of reactive power, this characteristic is uh, downlifted. Okay. So, that is something one need to understand. Now, next part is we will learn this modeling of SSSC. Okay. So, this modeling of SSSC. Now, uh, so far we have learned the basic operating principle of SSSC and how it can changes the characteristics of a uh, transmission line, uh, especially this uh, current flowing through the transmission line, the active power flowing through the transmission line and the reactive power at the both ends of the transmission line. Now, we also learn uh, this how SSSC uh, can be used in various aspects of power systems. So, this uh, we will uh, discuss in uh, very detail in the next lecture. But however, we will also try to understand the control characteristics of SSSC. So, this modeling of SSSC is basically the control characteristics. Okay. So, there are two modes of control, there are two modes of control for SSSC, one is called voltage control mode. Another is called reactance control mode. Okay. Now, this uh, in voltage control mode, the characteristics should be something like that. So, this uh, control characteristics is basically the characteristic corresponds to V s and I, where V s is the uh, voltage uh, injection through the SSSC, I is the line current. So, in voltage control mode, this characteristics is something like this. So, we have this is the operating uh, range of the line. So, this corresponds to I max, this corresponds to V x max and this corresponds to V s min and entire uh, this uh, you know operating uh, region or control characteristics within this rectangular box. However, this uh, uh, in practical uh, there are some limitation with uh, this uh, near to this uh, i is equal to 0 that is near to no load condition. So, therefore, this characteristics is actually look like this. Okay. So, this is what the control characteristics or control, control range. Under this voltage control mode. One thing I can see here is that this voltage injection of this SSSC is independent of the line current here. So, so in this particular mode you can see the voltage injection of this SSSC is independent of the line current. It is something uh, similar to the current injection of STATCOM is independent of the system voltage which I am already discussed in the last lecture. Okay. However, in this second control mode that is reactance control mode, the characteristics is something like this. 
this is suppose V s, this is suppose this line current. Then the characteristics will keep a fixed amount of reactance in both capacitive branch and inductive branch. Okay. So, this is corresponds to V s max, this is corresponds to V s mean, this corresponds to I max that is maximum line current. Okay. So, in this uh, particular characteristics, so you can see that uh, this, this uh, voltage injection is uh, changing with the line current okay. and uh, by keeping the uh, a maximum reactance same in the both the regions. So, what we can uh, comment on both this, this of course, uh, as you can see here that this characteristics is the voltage control characteristics. This characteristics corresponds to reactance control mode mode of the control characteristics. So, here this is the control range, here this is the control range. So, here you can see that uh, this, this voltage injection of SSSC is independent of line current. Whereas, this here the voltage injection of SSSC is linearly varying with varying with line current keeping the impedance of SSSC constant. Okay. So, this is what the difference between this mode of operation uh, that is voltage control mode and this mode of operation in reactance cont control mode. And we will revisit this idea once again in the next lecture when we will discuss different applications of SSSC uh, in, in uh, various uh, uh, aspects of power system, uh, which include uh, this, this dynamical aspect, which include the mitigation of uh, uh, subsynchronous damping or to, to provide the subsynchronous damping or uh, to, to provide uh, the control of the line current through the transmission line. So, this I will discuss in the next uh, part of the lecture and till then let me thank you for attending this lecture. So, thank you very much once again for attending this lecture. I look forward to meet you in the next lecture. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.